Hey, Marcus. Hi. When you're on the drift, to keep your bait and your weight where you want to have it, you have to work the drift. It's not, not like you always see in these lake pictures and doing that. Right. Like, oh, I'm going to get one. I'm going to yeah. get one. No, you're not. Because <laughs> you're like 30 foot over the bottom. And you are just monotonously getting your bait in one direction. Nobody's going to bite you. If you want to really work red snappers, you feel the bottom out, you lower your rod tip until you feel drag, 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 and everything comes tight. You open it, put it high out, let it down to the bottom, close it up, and again go with the line. Always nice and tense, nice and tense, nice and tense. Everything comes tight again. Repeat, like open up, high again, close, and walk it. With that, what your bait down there does, it's, it's down there, and you're going with it, you're going with it, it's not moving. And then everything comes tight, it swings really quick up, and you let everything go again, and it goes down again. It's called walking it. So you're like skipping. So you're literally skips. walking the bait. You're really right. like making really nice little skips. And often when everything comes tight and you want to start reeling up, you feel it tight. And this is when you have a circle hook on, you're not going to try to set the hook. Do not set the hook. That's what everybody tries. That's when you then lose a nice big red. Like just let everything get tight, get tight. Oh, it's really tight. I can't anymore. Just start reeling. And he's on. The best way to get to set the hook on, or to put the hook in the corner of the mouth of, the, of that red snapper is to reel the line tight, not to jerk yeah, the rod tip exactly. up. Yeah. You never ever jerk the rod tip. Right. Don't try. Sounds good. Thank you, Captain. No problem. You got it.